guys elevated here coming to you with another tutorial today we are going to cover replacing an eboot bin so first things first what you want to do is you want to download the game to your hard drive it has to be downloaded to hard drive so uh, if you don't know how to do that you can put it into multi-man and then um, just press square on the game and it'll come up with this little option menu right here for uh, Let's see if I can get this real quick. Come on. Okay, so you're just gonna copy it to your hard drive right here. Uh, most files are, I don't know, 15 to 20 gigs, some seven, eight, whatever. And then um, if you end up wanting to play this without the disc, you can just enable BD mirror right here and internal and then you'll be able to play without the disk but uh for this one what I'm gonna use I'm going to use FileZilla so what you wanna do after you have it all uh, downloaded to your hard drive is come over to your PC and you're gonna open up FileZilla so okay once you have FileZilla open what you're going to do, and you have to be connected to Multiman in order to connect to your PC on uh, FileZilla. But uh, go ahead and put in your uh, IP address. Let me see. Blah, 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 blah. And then you're going to connect. It'll do all this little connecting. And then right here, this is your, your PS3 info. So what you're going to do, you're going to click here, hard drive. Um, now this right here, this is where all your game for your actual PS3 is, but these are what you like downloaded. The games with the capital uh, S is for your multi-man, and the games with the capital Z is for ITA Manager, if you have that. Uh, so me, I, I have my ghost in my multi-man. So right here, um, it's Call of Duty Ghost right here. So you're going to open this, and then right here you're going to go PS3 game then USD USRDIR and then here is where your eboot bin will be uh, go down to E boom right there all caps so what I'm gonna do I already have the eboot bin right here but I'm gonna do this fresh for those of you who have this ghost tool from uh, Raw Dog and I'm so cool so go open your tool connect with NetSeal and then click right here the debug eboot so I'm gonna completely download this again and everything so you guys can see what I did exactly that way you guys have no problems so it's gonna bring you to the mega upload link <clears throat> and uh, you can also do this uh, with a USB I personally prefer FileZilla just because it's just a whole lot easier to use. Um, I'll show you the USB way too, but uh, go ahead and click download. I have a shitty computer so it might take me a minute. You know what, I'm actually going to, okay, starting, ghost debug files, this is what you're going to get right here, I already have it, so after you download this and everything, go into your downloads. Uh, getting a new computer this week by the way so hopefully that'll speed stuff up for me uh, what did I do deleted it of course I did anyways after you get this you're gonna you're gonna s get the download blah 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 you know what I'm gonna let this you know what I think I have a really hard time with uh, file or Firefox downloading for some reason I have no idea why so when I do what I'll usually do is just copy this and come over here I meant with Google Chrome by the way up and do what I want bitch okay like I said I got a shitty computer I'm getting a new one this week so 
Hopefully these videos are a lot easier to make after that. Okay, download to your computer. Okay, so this is going to download, uh, I think it's going to give you an option to either download it to your, save the file or open it. I'm just going to open it. I got videos rendering and everything, so I'm going to pause this until it downloads, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, this is finished downloading, which took a ridiculously long time because, I don't know, I'm compressing some files and uploading a couple other ones, but, um, okay, so what you're going to do here, you can either open or save file. I'm going to open because I don't really need it too much. Um, this is what you get right here. Uh, if you have a Mac, Mac, I don't, I've never even opened that shit. But uh, okay, so you have a few options right here. You have the self right here, and then the eboot bin, and then the elf. So what you want to do, um, I personally am on ITA Manager uh, and ITA 4.50, so I use the uh, the self. You can use the eboot bin too, but I personally use the self. So um, you want to do this to, to your desktop or the eboot bin. Uh, I already have this on my desktop, so I'm going to skip that part. But just go ahead and um, select it, extract, put it put it on your desktop. It's just a whole lot easier to find. And then you're going to want to go over to FileZilla, and then you can locate it right here. And then um, here's the eboot bin, and here's the self. So all you're going to do, you don't even have to find it. You can just drop this anywhere in, and automatically it's going to show you that uh, source file, blah, 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 target file, blah, 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 basically saying they already exist. Do you want to copy it? Just uh, click yes and copy over it, and then you'll see down here it'll change. Um, just pick one or the other, the eboot or the self. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing both. I don't know if it'll mess anything up or not, but, I mean, you don't need them both. So, anyways, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, it's really fucking deep. You just drag and drop that's it uh, another way to do this let's try to uh, go back to the PS3 you can um, take the same file whichever one you want and put it on your USB drive and then uh, let's see what did I do okay so when you're back here on the screen you can just hold down start and select and it will bring you to uh, your file manager. Let me close these real quick. And then what you want to do, you want to go right here to PS3 root. And this is that same thing that was on FileZilla. Uh, this is for those of you who don't have FileZilla or don't want to use it. So you're going to open up the hard drive, go into your game file, and open that up. Uh, you're going to go games. USRDIR, the directory, and then just scroll down to wherever your eboot bin and the default is. And then you're going to go back here to PS3 root and open your USB drive. Uh, I, I don't have it on this USB drive, so basically it'll be right here somewhere. You're just going to take it and um, drag it over. Actually, I'm wrong about that. You're going to just highlight it here and then push circle and then you're just gonna do a copy I'll just copy this one folder I'm not gonna paste it in here but then once you get over here to this one you can uh, just I usually just click right here on the side I don't know if it matters or not but you can just push circle again and then go down here and paste whatever uh, it's not gonna let me copy that other file but you get the idea. Paste them up here and just paste it in this file, and you're good to go, man. So that's pretty much it. Those are two ways to replace your eBook bin. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, get at me at portocentral.net. Peace.